Hello everybody and welcome to the Catch Corp and of course we're heading on down to Pearl Lake, Malaysia and I'm going to show you how I caught two monster alprimers including a boss fish. Right, so I have fished along this section before here and I'm going to have a go at catching some alprimers. I have caught alprimers from under this uh, bridge section here, but I want to uh, do a three, rod, uh, a three rod session in this go. So, I'm not too sure if there's any pegs along here. I'm, we're going just have a little jog along the riverbank. Got my holiday clothes on. Of course, because it's uh, it's quite warm out here, and uh, we're looking for a peg. Hopefully, there should be a peg along here. I've only three fished along here before, just under the bridge, and I hit an old primer. So uh, I want to have a go along here. There we go. We found a peg. Right, let's set up chaps. Okay, so we are dead baiting. Rod number three, I'm actually going to cast right down under that bridge. There isn't a peg down there to set three rods up, I don't think. Uh, but you can free fish down there with just the one rod. But I'm just going to cast one down there, just in case I don't catch anything, where I am now going to cast rods one and two. I'm going to cast these right across, as close to that far bank as I can. Now, the reason for this is I fished further up to the left, to the left of me, of this peg. I fished uh, across onto the bank, the opposite bank, and I have had some good um, fish. Um, it's a good lake to come down onto this as if you've got some reasonably strong kit to get these old primers out of the water because uh, you do get usually quite a good amount of tackle points when you land one of these fish. So we're going to try our luck on this peg, never fish this peg before and see, oh look at this, straight away, rod number one on the roach, boom, we're in. Now it's going way off to the right, so this could be a good fish. Now, one of the most common questions I get asked and sent to me is, I can't find the dead bait, how do I get the dead bait? Right, first off, you have to get hook number two. Now, there's, there's two hook options, you've got the silt hook number two, and you've got uh, the gravel hook number two. This particular lake, as you saw, I was fishing over silt so i chose the silt hook number two and you've got to choose hook number two before you choose the bait because um if it's the same as um fishing sim world pro tour the bait doesn't show up until you've got hook number two so choose hook number two and then obviously if you purchased it you've got to purchase these items first you should be able to put the dead bait on Okay, so I know that may have sounded just a little bit patronising to uh, to the people who obviously know that, but you would not believe the amount of messages I get on YouTube, on Facebook, and even on Twitter, um, asking me how to put the dead bait or where to get the dead baits from. So uh, yeah, hopefully we won't get any of them questions in the comments section below because people will watch the video. So this particular fish has gone from the right hand side, now it's going all the way across to the left hand side of the lake. I shall be gutted if I lose this because this may be quite a good fish. We've got right number two going off now, but we've only got one pair of hands so uh, we'll just have to let that uh, do, its, uh, do its thing. So that seems quite that would, that would seem quite a good place to, uh, to actually cast on that far bank. I have had 
some good fish off this far bank. If you look at run number one along there where it is now, I have fished along there and I've had uh, good fish all the way along this bank. No boss fish as of yet, but I've had some um, big rare fish from along that side of uh, the bank. Hope I don't lose this now. It's over 133 yards, 134 yards, it's, it's still going, it's still pulling line. Going in between that rock. A little bit worried when uh, the fish start going in the rocks. I have lost quite a few like that. And they've gone around rocks, I might lose this. Fish on! Fish on, bubbles! We got a big one. We have got a big one here. My heart went then, I thought my line had snapped, unlocked an achievement, what that achievement is, you, but it's gone off the screen now, I think it was, I think it was you're a loser or something like that, I didn't quite get it, but uh, it looked like that achievement you get when you lose, I think it's 50 fish. We still, of course, got a, uh, a fish on one of the other rods. I can hear the uh, the bite alarm going off. So we've had some good takes here. Virtually set up, boom, we're in straight away. Which, if we didn't, to be honest, it would make a rather dull fishing game if we were actually having to sit for quite a long time before we actually got a bite so uh, it's always better when you get the fish straight away right we've got have we got this it's coming in it looks from the length of it I think I think this could be a oh it's gone again it may be an old primer Yes, it's most definitely a Al Primer as it crashes onto the bank. I hope it's not going. No, I thought. It, uh, do you know? For a dreadful moment, I thought it was going to get stuck there. Then, right? What have we got? It's that big. It doesn't actually fit onto the screen. Al Primer, four hundred nineteen pound, ten ounces. And it's a rare one. It wasn't a trophy fish, boss fish. It wasn't a boss fish. Wow, I I was sure that was going to be a boss fish, but look at the tackle points. Over 4,000 tackle points we got for that. Yabba dabba do. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's cast. Rod number one with the roach. Back out there again. Same place, or roughly the same place as uh, as previously. Rod number two, let's uh, cast this back out 
across the far bank again. Oh, rod number one's going straight away. Rod number one's going on the roach. Look at that. Boom. We're in again. Would you believe that? Absolutely fantastic. Little heartbeat there, is there? No? Thought I could hear a little bit of that, that heartbeat moment then. On the uh, on the tension as I was reeling in. That's something new in this game. You get that like sound effect, that heartbeat sound effect. Usually dictates um, Sometimes when you're going to lose the fish, it comes on, and sometimes um, when it's going to be a personal best, you may hear that, I think. I'm not 100% sure, so I'm just guessing. Moving real slow. I've got a funny feeling this could be the same fish, <laughs> the same fish, <laughs> what we just caught. It's a big one. I think it's going possibly be an old primer. Of course, I could be wrong. Getting a little bit worried now. It looks like it's going to go and disappear around the corner of the lake there. No, it's coming back. We've got it. No, we haven't. It's going again. It's going across to the right now. <laughs> it's heading for them rocks. Oh, I hope the line... I hope I don't lose it here. It's gone into them rocks. Is it coming back out? Yes, it is. You play these fish and it still feels very much like a timed out thing on the reeling in and tension. It hasn't improved a great deal, just in case you're wondering if you play fishing Sim World Pro Tour, if the actual fish mechanics and fighting is any better. It is very, very similar, if not the same. It might be a little bit more sensitive and you might have to balance the tension out just a little bit more. I'm not too sure. It's it, it's very similar. Oh, look, did you see the red tail come out there? Beautiful red tail came out on that fish in the water. Did you see it? But uh, this tension and fighting the fish, if not the same as in Fishing Simul Pro Tour, it's very similar. 
there's not a great deal of difference at all apart from the hood the different colouring of the hood and the fish depth and you've got fish on and hook strained um, coming up across the top there and I personally I think they've done that because they I know dovetail games dovetail fishing I'd seen many questions um, people asking about the line snapping off and how that tension works I think they just got fed up of it so put the actual wording in across the top I'm just guessing I don't know <laughs> but it is very similar to fishing sim world pro tour He's gone into the bank. This is a massive old primer. Could be the same fish. Trouble is with these old primers, <laughs> they take ages to get in. On a positive note, if you're just starting the game, oh look at that, it is massive. He's going in the bank, where's he going? What's he doing? Look at how big that is, it's a cracker. We've got it. Yes. Can't fit on the screen, it's too big. It's a boss fish! Yo! What's it called? Weaving or something? I'm not going to even try to pronounce that, but anyway, it's a boss fish. Get the camera out. 400, 479 pounds, 13 ounces, caught on the roach, 5,233 tackle points. Yabba dabba do. Give that one a great big kiss. And we'll let him go. We'll chuck him back in. Boss fish. Now that's two cracking fish. We've just caught there. Absolutely fan dabby dozy. So I hope you enjoyed that video, guys and girls, fellow angling buddies. This was the setup. I was using on that particular day on that particular lake all the action um, where I happened to catch them two large Al primers including the boss fish was set up rod number one and the only difference between two and three rod two and three was the bait we had them two large Al primers on that roach um, forget the tutti frutti down there I never used it and I never even used the spod mix I guess I got real lucky straight away bang we had two large all primers now at the beginning of the video there should be um, the weather and day settings so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button subscribe and say hello in the comments section below. Tight lines, chaps. And uh, if you haven't caught that particular boss fish, um, good luck. I hope you catch him. If you do, particularly if you catch him in the same way, um, with the same method, um, make sure you let me know in the comments section below. Uh, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching.